What is going on guys? This is Card Warriors Magic, and today I have a really cool double deck review for you. Um, so these are both the Artisan card decks. Uh, they are produced by Fury11, and um, they're just absolutely amazing decks. Um, I can't wait to show you guys these, so let's go ahead and get into it. So, um, in case you're wondering, this deck review is going to be a little different, slightly longer than the other deck reviews, because um, obviously it's two decks, but these decks are very similar, so I'm not going to do a full deck review on each, which is why we combine them. I didn't want you guys to see, like, super repetitive videos coming out. So, I'll go ahead and show you the um, boxes up here for the Black Artisans. A uh, really, really cool box going on. You have just the gold border right here. It says Artisans right here. The Guild of Artisans and the U.S. Playing Card Company. An artisan is like sort of a hands craftsman. They make stuff with their hands. And then it says Theory 11. No, Black Edition in a really cool font right there. Uh, same as this deck, which... Um, is white has practically the same stuff except it's white on gold whereas that's white on a slightly darker gold so you have that on both decks you have the ad copy right here um, you can see that on the side of the deck it says one sec it says made in the United States of America you'll be able to see it a little more clearer here made in the United States of America on this side it says um, made in the United States of America again as well it's on this one so you have that um, both decks have a really cool sticker on the top the red just really pops at you I like how they did the red some people don't but um, you have that really cool stick in, sticker and then it says artisan right here on the font on both of those and um, so yeah it's a theory 11 sticker going on right there and then you have the very cool back of the box really stunning right there um, this one is like a darker gold, almost bronze, but it's still gold. And uh, that's the back design that you'll see on the box. Um, and then you have the really cool gold design here on this box as well. So, huge fan of what they did with those. So, to go ahead and get into the cards of these boxes, on this deck, it's a white flap. On this deck, it's a black flap. So, um, the boxes are practically the same for both decks, no difference. Um, and then you go ahead and look at the card decks for these boxes. Let me get these boxes out of the way for now. I'll go ahead and show you this. So each deck comes with a, a double backer. Um, you can see that right there. And I'll just really show quick show the back design for the card decks. Um, you can see that the white one is the artisan design. It ha does have a thicker border. It's not super thick but a little thicker than most decks have um, and uh, you can see right here it has the artisan symbol right there it says the guild of artisans and then you have the theory 11 symbol on uh, both sides and then the very cool gold both ways so um, I, I really like how on this deck they just made them they're not like standard golds as you might think this is like a black gold and this is like sort of a creamy sort of like a who, what would, I guess I'd say like a taffy colored gold, like a really light taffy. Um, but they're, they're not like what you would similarly think of for a gold color. But um, really, really cool back designs. I absolutely love the back designs for these decks. So I'll go ahead and show you really quick. Both decks come with two jokers. The, uh, black, um, the uh, black Artisans has a slightly, sort. Of, it's just a slightly different colored joker. But very cool jokers, they say, made in the United States of America. And then you have the uh, two other jokers right here. Um, so you can see those. One is slightly lighter, if you can see that color difference. So to go ahead and get into the decks, um, the, um, the royalty is slightly different for both decks. I'll go ahead and show you this one. Um, standard bicycle royalty. They did just color it a different color. This one's a bronze sort of color. And you have standard bicycle all the way through that. So if you guys just look at one standard bicycle deck that you have, you'll know what this looks like all the way through. And you have the spades. This deck has a very cool looking ace of spades. I'll go ahead and show you that. Um, ace of spades right there. 
and I'll just lay that aside to show you the comparison in a second. And then you have the hearts, which are absolutely amazing as well. Just standard bicycle though. Um, and then standard hearts. No custom pips. I really wish they had done that, but you know, it's okay. So um, just to really quick show you the color comparison, if we take a king of hearts, where is it? There we go. If we take a king of hearts and uh, compare it to this king of hearts, you can see they look very similar, except that this one, I'll see if you can spot the difference. The black deck has a lighter color, um, like a lighter gold, which kind of contrasts with the uh, um, light bicycle color right there. The light um, back color, my bad. And then this is a bronze, which contrasts with that really well. So those are the back designs. And then this deck, again, standard bicycle. I'll just go ahead and show you that really quick. You have that all the way through. And then if I just go ahead and show you the uh, spade all the way at the bottom. Very cool Ace of Spades. You see that right there with contrast to the white Ace of Spades, the white artisans. So these are really cool looking decks. Um, I really like what they did with the gold colors, and uh, they they are slightly different. I really like how they didn't color the royalty the same for both decks. I think that's a, just a really cool trait that they added in. And um, oh yeah, to show you as well, this deck does. It's more of a flashy color of gold, so it like reflects light really well. If you guys see that, just catches the light. Whereas this deck is darker, so it's not going to catch the light quite as much. While well, it still does, though. Um, so for feel, this deck is probably my favorite deck for feel. It is absolutely amazing. Um, it it felt great out of the box, and it got better as I continued it. Um, if I had to pick, since you guys will probably be wondering which deck I like most out of the white and black artisans. My opinion is the Black Artisans. I like the coloring just a little more, but don't get me wrong, they are both completely amazing decks. I really recommend getting either. Um, but yeah, so they shuffle well, super well out of the box. This one I got more recently than that one. I both, I've had them both within the past week, though. And um, Farrowing is um, pretty good. Not the best, but still pretty good. And then you see a giant fan, which looks stunning with that white flashy design um, but I would highly recommend either of these decks uh, to go with um, the uh, boxes honestly the white artisan box is my favorite but they are both really good boxes I'll go ahead and bring those back in really quick and um, to uh, just tell you really quick the box rating I'm gonna give the box 9.5 out of 10 stunning box to be honest with you um, to rate the overall design, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Love the back design. Love what they did to the royalty. It would have been a little higher if they had customized it a little more. But um, uh, for the feel, 9.5 out of 10. It feels absolutely amazing. I would really recommend these decks. And um, overall, I'm going to give these decks a 9 out of 10. These decks are amazing. Definitely recommend picking one up on Amazon or Theory 11's website. And um, yeah, so yep, I, I do like the black one slightly more, but the white one is absolutely amazing as well. So uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you would. Also comment below telling us what you would like to see next. And uh, be sure to subscribe to us at Card Warriors Magic. Thanks so much, guys.